All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game, One Life. My name is Typo, and this is Starfield Part 56. I don't know why I stuttered, but here we are. We have Andresia here, who, aside from the fact that she really, really likes it when we talk rather than shoot first, uh, seems to be on board with a lot of the things we do, and I'm really enjoying that aspect of things. Also, this could very well be the last mission on Neon, and if it is, we need to go, uh, go and buy a new ship. And if that becomes a thing, I'll talk to you about uh, what's been going on on that front. Because I've kind of been looking into it a little bit. Kick him where it hurts. Sounds like you and Briggs have history. You better believe it. Both of us worked for that L-roll Xeno fresh way back. I was a casualty of a reduction in force. But Paul Briggs's leg got crushed in an accident. So Xenofresh, being the class act they are, they fired him. And later, even sued him. Fun stuff. So it was him and I on the streets. I helped him through rehab. The M-side strikers sort of grew around us. So Vogal's like, in, in. Uh, yeah, disciples deserve it. You better believe it. The plan's simple. We hit the street runners hard in as many points as possible. Maximum chaos. Right? Then Andrea can waltz into their weapons <clears throat> cache, snag the big guns, <laughs> and then the real fun begins. Alright. Um Andreja might like if I say that. Maybe. Uh, it's just a question, so it's not moving anything no forward. Purposes. The till's running empty. So if I happen to see some marks on the way, then the fishies better pay up. You know what I mean? Ooh, okay. Let's get plan. Briggs ain't the only one thinking around here. I dig There's that. Groups of street rats for you. Me and my boys will take some others. Fun time. Hell yeah. Oh, I like his confidence in us. He said, here, have three. Have three groups all to yourself. I got you, Briggs. He knows what we're capable of. These poor disciples are screwed, man. They have no shot. No chance. Okay, my scanner is not working. Yeah. It'll Bethesda feature its way in. There we go. Okay, disciple hangout. Um, I would have swore I had more markers, but okay, yeah, disciple hangout. Let's go. In the underbelly. <clears throat> no, that's just that's just sending us to the ele other elevator to the other side of the upper platform. It's weird that the upper platforms are so hard to connect to each other. That's strange. Uh, but as far as buying a new ship goes, there's the shield breaker. <laughs> We're almost 90 hours into this playthrough, and the shield breaker has been our ship for the majority of it. It's gonna feel so... It's gonna feel kinda wrong leaving shield breaker behind, but it's just not the best anymore. Okay. Uh, they're just standing here. I did just say Andresia likes it when we talk. Back off. No, make me. Looky here. Just strolling into Disciple Turf. <laughs> You're making this too easy. Today's a bad day to be a disciple. Be smart and walk away. Kind of boring, but could be very effective. Just leave and you don't have to die. You have no idea what's coming. Attack. Um, let's see if Andresia likes this. I'll give it a shot. Yeah, right. Why should I believe you? It's about to get really ugly for you. I never said I was done talking. I'm not going to be the one to start anything. If you don't start anything, and I don't start anything. I know you'd like to help me if you could. I'm glad you understand the position I'm in here. Everyone, let's go. Andresia, you didn't like that? I thought for sure that'd be something you'd be into. Damn. Alright. Well, no more talking then. Let's go in heavy. If talking's not going to make you heavy, then let's just do this. The order strikers, darling. Yeah, we had those blighters all tied up until you came along. The name's Holt, and I'm here to offer you a deal. Wait, what? Say your piece. Good. You're reasonable. The strikers are old news. Positively analog. 
you help us take out their so-called leaders, and the disciples can pay big. Credits, yeah? A dumpster full of them. Literally, if that's your thing. Um... You guys sound psychotic. Why the indiscriminate violence? In order to keep a rat in place, you got to scare it, terrify it. And if it happens to be good for a laugh, well, that's a bonus. Right? They are... See, I was looking at joining the disciples earlier, and then you all looked like this when the upside strikers look like that. Why are they so much cooler? Will things get worse in Ebside? Do you give a damn about that why? This ain't your fight, pal. Ebside's always been about survival of the fittest. As long as the tourists stay away, no one cares what happens. Mmm. Mmm, I see. I see. Oh, man. Oh, God. We would be dis we would be betraying the strikers, obviously, and then there would only be the disciples left. Oh boy, the strikers aren't good people either. Though Briggs was, or uh, Bogal was, literally just about hit, talking about hitting up some marks, and that the fishies better pay. They both suck. The strikers are good, are better than the disciples, but they both suck. Uh, the disciples are fun. Um, as a villain, I appreciate the things they do. I've talked with many of them, even though I've killed many of them, and we could always use credits. Could use credits, but you can keep the dumpster. You do the deed. We'll send payment. Just so you know, the other disciples will be gunning for you until you take out all the strikers. So make your way to Savages with care. None of this is good, but money should not be your prime motivation. Alright. I tried. You know Andreja disliked that, right? Okay, you just asked me to attack them in the middle of Madame Sauvages, though. Do you know that's going to make an enemy of everyone in Madame Sauvages? There's no way that's going to happen. You know that, right? Holt, my man, you know that's not going to happen? Okay. Whoop, I missed. There you go, Andresia. We got it. You okay? What is happening there? Why are you taking damage? What was that? That was a little interesting. Over encumbered, of course. We always are. That's how we roll. Did you hear the crowd like did you see the like the people screaming and stuff when the gunfight started? And there's the chunks lady, diligently loyal to her job. Alright. That is corporately soulless. Just like we would expect. We've never went into warehouse two, I don't think. We went into one and four, but never two. What's going on in warehouse two? Nothing. Nothing is ever happening in these warehouses. I don't know why I entered. Andreja disliked that. Damn it! Why can't money be my main motivation, Andreja? I dislike that you dislike that. What do you think about that, huh? Huh? Try to get a comeback for that. See what you think about that, huh? Anyway, moving on. Excuse me, everybody. Excuse me. Pardon me. Excuse me. We got one more group of disciples to deal with. Hi ho, hi ho. Oh my goodness. Hello there. Are we doing this? How are you? Oh, rude. Oh my god. Oh no, he's gonna fall off the. You, you. I'm gonna give him time to get back on before the ledge here. Don't want him falling. Off. Hello there. I didn't want him falling off the ledge now. Okay, let's heal. Let's not get too cocky. Hello. Udon Minibite, I'll pass. Advanced AA-99! Damn, they're using the advanced AA-99s. That's how you know we've moved on to the good gear here. They're not messing around anymore. Uh, what's going on? Speak to Andrea Sandoval. Uh, okay, hold up. There's things to steal here. Maybe trying to take a little too much on. Literally. Yeah, but that'd be alright. Grenades, too? Hello. Uh, yeah, but I, I, I don't mind being a little over-encumbered. You'll see. It doesn't bother me that much. Aha. Requires a key, though. Um. 
Uh oh. Uh oh. What do I do here? What do I do? Guys, help. Send help. I want to speak to Andrea Sandoval. How do, how do I get in the warehouse? Oh, shoot. <laughs> it says it requires a key that I don't have. Hello? Maybe it's down this way. Yeah, hopefully it's down this way. Just on the other side of the warehouse, and I just thought it was part of the warehouse. Yeah, I got really cocky in that fight. We should probably stop doing that so much. It's going to get us killed if I get that cocky too many times. Guys looking good in the new armor. <laughs> we got the guns, new fish. When in pop pop pop, the cash is ours. Uh, that's thanks to me and my new best mate. <laughs> Hit any problems on your patrol? <laughs> it was a piece of cake. Hey, same here. Little element of surprise, a few bullets. Man, no worries. Everything's going according to plan, Briggs. Good. Now we hit them where it hurts. This warehouse is one of their main strongholds. Okay. Not going to lie. Taking it is going to be hard. New fish, we wouldn't be here without you. What's the play? Going guns blazing? We hold back? <laughs> I like that. I like the way he takes that. Change of plans. Disciples send the regards. Uh, stay out here and make sure I don't get interrupted. I'm about to go. Let me just crack my knuckles here. About to go have some fun. You'll be drawing a lot of heat, but if you think you can handle it, works for me. Oh, I can handle it. Let's do it. Yeah, Andresia, let's go. <laughs> you and me. Warehouse three. Okay, I am actually gonna give you this gear so that we can go nuts in the fight. Okay. That's fun. So oh, that is the advanced Beowulf that she's using. Why did I think that wasn't what she was using? Huh, okay. Uh, here, weapons. Take that, take this, take that, take this, this, that, this. Oh, no, I probably shouldn't have given her that. That's okay. Okay. Give me this back. Thank you. And maybe I can finally try out the negotiator. Because we, uh, we never try it. We've never actually just gone, here we go. Okay. So it's 173 grenades, probably? I probably won't use this for very long, but I don't want to sell it until I've tried it. Goodbye. It does look kind of fun, though. Uh, can I use a battle stim since I know I'm going into a fight? I rarely get that kind of heads up. Uh, what, what do we call it? Infantry Alpha? Is that what we made? No. What's the thing we made? What is we made, like, a really good weapon, I thought. Yeah, Panopticon! 35% weapon accuracy and 40% range damage for 3 minutes and m half movement noise. Hell yeah. Okay, uh... Yeah, okay. Got it. Oh, where? Where? Up there? I do like how I can get behind cover with it. Got him. Okay, okay. Oh, hello. Level 50 disciple. Oh my god. Ah, ah, heal, 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 heal. Woo! Okay. Back to the shotgun. <laughs> Back to the shotgun. That, that was working much better for me. A lot less uh, extra possible damage. Especially in short quarters. I should have been using this anyway, to be honest. Yeah, I'm going to sell that negotiator. It is cool, but... This shotgun is so insane. Oh, ow. Hello, goodbye. Oh, hello, goodbye. That better not have been it. Playtime is over. Downstairs, now. Owen Dexler. Ooh, playtime is over, he said. Ooh, let's have a little talk, you and me. Okay, I'm down. Heal up a little bit. What is this? Is this Neon Security? Are y'all real right now? You think Neon Security wouldn't know about what's going down? Please. 
Looks like you've done a bit of violence, a bit of murder. Word is, all this is due to you. Why are you messing around with my streets, huh? I was doing your job, you're welcome. You would know the first thing about my job. So here's what's going to happen. Gang violence gets too noisy. That hurts the bottom line around here. No one affects the bottom line. Tell that to the disciples. No. I want you to, Mr. Briggs. The disciples have been pissing me off for far too long. So, your gang throws off sewer rat blue and starts wearing neon security black. Or, you can be found face down in the streets. Hey, I'll join the security. Say your goodbyes. Briggs is a smart lad. He'll make the right choice. <laughs> you'd hire them all after... The, after <laughs> uh, you'd hire them after all they've done. The best way to fight gang violence is getting your own pet gang. Trust me. They'll fit right in on the force. Where is the, Where have I heard this voice before? I've heard this voice before, so I'm free to go. Free to go as far away from here as you like. The further, the better in my book. Where is that? That is a generous and surprising offer. Setting street rat against street rat is pretty elegant, right? Don't take too long. Time to onboard the new hires. All right, Briggs, you should really do that, by the way. That's an actual offer you should really be taking. You guys can be neon security, and I've done my part, and I can leave. Good, you're here. Huddle up, gang. Is this for real? They want me to be a, a cop. Shit. We could get a real path. Maybe even move out of Pepside? Briggs, I'm so in. After all we've done, neon security, seriously, we'll let that go? I don't see why not. You really think anyone cares who stabs who in Ebside? What's your take? I can't believe how corrupt security is here. <laughs> uh, it's a chance to get out of Ebside. Take it. Yeah, for real. No reason no one would lie. Offer seems legit. We've been struggling just to feed ourselves. Having a salary again. Hard to believe. Just consider where that salary comes from and what it may be conditioned upon. Anyone object to going for the deal? This is your chance. No one? Good. Really good. I'll give Owen the news. I can't say I was expecting this. Whatever god or gods we please to get you to help us, no, we'll be forever grateful. <laughs> So long, then. Same to you. It looks like the strikers are retiring. And here's your cut. Thanks for the cut. Oh, the credits were real right there. 15,000 credits? Okay. Street sweeper added. What is a street sweeper? New weapon? <laughs> That's a really sad weapon. I'm sure it was good for somebody at some point in some playthrough. But, uh, not us. No. Have a going, Andrea. Andrea. I can leave this garbage dump. Have a going, Hatchet. Still don't know what to think. Have a going, Bogal. Real job today. <laughs> I can't believe it. Have a going, Briggs. All of us owe you. We'll never forget. Yeah, you got it. Look at us making more neon security for the day that we work alongside slash take over Bayou's job. <laughs> yeah, okay. Like like that'll ever happen. I would love it to, but I don't know about that. Speak with Abby Edding. Uh, there's nothing left on Neon, is there? Right? Didn't we take care of it? Yeah, that's that's off planet. Yeah, let me let me double check, but I'm pretty sure that is Neon wrapped up. Uh, for now, we'll definitely be coming back. Distortions, Eyewitness, Hadrian, and New Atlantis from Beyond, doing full. Maybe one day we'll find that. Checking with Keone. One day, uh, we'll do these. The Free Star eventually. Yeah, these are all way older than the Neon missions. Yeah, 
Would you look at that? All right. Okay. We did it. To Leah Kassler. Yep, yeah, yep, yep. Talk to Catherine Luzian. I don't know where that is. That's not here, is it? Wait, it is? Oh. Hold up now. There is one last thing we can do here. Let's not miss it. Speak to Catherine Luzian. Who is this? Who am I going to be talking to exactly? Okay, we're going to the underbelly, I think. Yep. Okay. Underbelly. I'm glad I checked, because we almost missed this. It's writing down here in activities. Everything else here is done. This is this is for sure the last thing before we go buy our ship. Start maybe doing some customizations. Oh boy, we're gonna be uh We're gonna be CO2 intoxicated soon because of the over encumbrance. It is what it is. Uh, quick shop. Apparently, I don't qualify. Hello. I'm sorry if I sound rude, but would you mind coming back? Talk to Manaya Adams? Oh my god, are we actually getting more stuff right now? Just forget to pull down the shutters. Hope nothing terribly bad has happened. I'm afraid so, but I don't really want to talk about it right now. Perhaps another time. When I'm feeling up to it. I understand you're not feeling up to it. Uh, I assume nothing will change your mind. I'm afraid not, but come back tomorrow and perhaps I'll be strong enough to speak to you. Right now, I just... I can't. Interesting. I wish we had done that a long time ago. I said I'd talk... Okay. Okay, interesting. And then talk to Manaya Adams. Who is Manaya Adams? And why am I just now hearing about this? What is happening? <laughs> Here I was thinking that we were finally uh, done for a while and we're running into some things that I wish I had seen earlier. But let's see what's going on. Manaya Adams. Is this going over to the core? It is. Okay, so Manaya Adams is over in the core. Kind of a bigger deal here. Show no mercy, leave no quarter. Show no mercy, leave no quarter. Talk to Manaya Adams. Oh, she's in the Astral Lounge. Manaya Adams is feeling fancy right about now, isn't she? Okay, I see you. Okay, there she is. Let's see what's going on here. I'm curious. I'm curious. Tell me, what's up, Manaya? They say for every five credits the human bay you spent on Neon, four went to the Astral Lounge. How do you like Neon? It's the world's most exotic accident. They found the drug in the fish oil of all things. But oil is an old story. One of grease and flame. The grease turns the wheels of commerce, and the flame attracts the moths. So be careful walking these streets, my delicate little insect. Venture too close, and you'll burn your wings. Wow, she thinks she's a lot talking to people like that. What brings you to Neon? I'm in town for business. My client leaves a mess, I clean it up. Business, what do you do for work? I'm an independent contractor, working for some very wealthy clients. They open deals, I close them. Anything I can do for you? There might be. I originally came here to complete a business deal, but the client, in a fit of foolishness, decided to close on their own. Rather than dispose of the evidence properly, they left it in a warehouse. Real amateur stuff. So there are some loose ends that need tying, and I prefer a third party handle it. Would you be interested? Would love to. Just make sure it's worth my while. I'm giving you half of my usual fee, which, according to my clients, 
is a ransom three times over. But I'm worth every creep. Half my usual fee. Okay, I'll find out what's going on. In the warehouse behind Neon Tactical. Gang okay. Gang often use their area to peddle their sunshine and lollipops. So if shit's puckadoo, you'll have to improvise. If shit's puckadoo. If secure the merchandise, sell it to Coleman Lang at the Trade Authority. So it's part of their regular inventory. Return here and the job is done. Easy enough, I can do that. No problem. Oh, I set mission active. Oh, okay. Whatever, fine. Dirty laundry, that's our kind of gig. Okay, uh, so this is going to end up being way more. Andreja, where'd you go? I lost her. She's gone. Oof. Get her right here. <laughs> This place is so full of things to do, it's wild. Okay, so, let me give you some more weapons. Enjoy all these. Thank you so much. We're back over 1.1 million again! We just make credits like it's nothing! I mean, at Neon alone, we've made almost 200,000 credits while we've been here. And we've, we've spent even more than that, but still... You get the point. Pick up the merchandise and sell it to the trade authority. What? what was that? What is this redirect? Yeah, I still have to go open the locker. Gotta pick up the merchandise before I can sell it to trade authority. <clears throat> so that's what one of these warehouses was for. Is this gonna be? Is this gonna be the one that needed the key to open? Might be, might be. Excuse me, pardon me. Damn, you could really traffic jam that spot, couldn't you? It is not. No, this is the other side of it. Damn. Maybe one day I'll know what that key is for. One day. This is the warehouse we literally just cleared out for the disciples. No problem. I can get right on that. Here we go. What is that voice from? Who is that? I know that voice, but I can't place it. Discarded side star and an amp. Sell the discarded side star to Coleman Lang. Probably won't make any money off this because he wasn't won't have any money to give us. But you know, it'll get the mission done, I guess. Fair enough. I wonder if time passes while we're customizing ships and stuff. Because if it does, we'll probably be able to customize a ship until in-game tomorrow. Um, for the lady or whatever. Okay. Here you are. I was wondering if you'd be interested in the side star. You see company, but their stuff is military grade. But that is not the issue here. That gun is hotter than a frying pan full of fish grease. I'm not giving you anywhere near market rate. How does he know that? The custom mods in that pistol aren't cheap. It has improved recoil and fire rate. <laughs> Should have done better than to try and fool a weapons expert. All right, I'll pay you what it's worth. But only because I know for a fact NSEC won't come looking for it. Beautiful. Thank you. Yeah, we'll do, my man. We'll do. All right, let's let when I know that that job was easy, and that she should give us some more lucrative gigs. Half her usual fee. I'm looking forward to what this is. If it's like five thousand, and her usual fee then is ten thousand, that's a good fee. We like that. That's that good cash. All right, back back with the terrible dancing outfits again. The music is what now? I sold the merchandise to the trade authority. Then my client can finally relax. He's a very tense man, you see. Tried to smile once years ago, and didn't like the fit. But I <laughs> That's funny. Here's your payment, as promised. Enjoy the rest of your time here in Neon. 
You have any more jobs for me? Yes, but I never work with the same client twice. Call it a personal rule. Interesting. Always a pleasure. I think we might meet again someday, Manaya. Just a suspicion I have. It's blowing my mind. Okay. Let's go hit Tayo Astroneering in the Ryujin Tower. I think it's finally time that we buy our ship. And one day we're gonna we're gonna pimp out our penthouse. That is gonna happen one day. Trust. Uh, we can't talk to Catherine yet. It hasn't been an in-game day as far as I'm aware. What time is it? 4.50 local time, 19.03 UT. It's been just shy of three months since we started, I believe. Uh, a little, little shy. A little, we still got another week or a little over a week before it's been three months, really. But point stands that it's been a bit. And we are about to spend so many credits. And I mean... So many credits. But I'm looking forward to it. Here we go. Here we go. New ship. First time in a long time we got a new ship. Sorry, I know my chair is loud when I adjust. Okay, here we are. Veronica Young. Okay, so, um, I'm pretty sure I said this, but just in case I didn't, I really looked at the Vanquisher 2 at Stroud Eklund and the Narwhal again off camera, um, just to know which one we wanted to go with, and after looking at the ships again, it's actually not even competitive, even though their prices are about the same, it's not competitive which one is better. The, Van the Vanquisher 2 had twice as much cargo, over 4,000 cargo. But the Narwhal is better in just about literally every other category. Damage, hull, shield, crew members. Um, nine more core power. Like, we, the Vanquisher 2 had 27. We have 36 in the Narwhal. So, Excellent. If you the Narwhal, other than the cargo capacity, is easily the better places. ship. Yay! Yay! Prepare to be a Oh, I'm ready. And then we'll build off of the narwhal as well. Make it the best ship we can. Here it is. Look at this absolute beauty. All that reactor power. Um, we're gonna... Yeah, oh my goodness. It's gonna be so good. For 455,000 credits, we'll probably turn it black um, to fit our color scheme. Maybe we'll make it red because of the Crimson Fleet. I don't know. Maybe... Hmm. Maybe I'll make it silver so it blends in with stars. No, I just feel like... At first I was making them black because it felt like it would blend in with space better. But it, it looks like locking on to ships is actually quite easy regardless of whether you blend into space or not. So I don't know. Maybe we go with something else. We'll see. But let's go ahead and buy the narwhal. Confirm. Ooh! Our money. Ow. <laughs> there it is. Our home ship. The Frontier. The Wanderwell. And then the Shield Breaker. And now, the Narwhal. Which is almost full on cargo before we get the uh, bonuses from Sam to give us more cargo capacity. That's really its only remote weakness. Like, in every other way, this narwhal's insane. You ready to change your life? Let's modify. Yay! Let's get you set up. She, lo she loves saying yay. Okay, so. Ship builder. Uh, upgrade ship first. Is there anything that we can just take and just immediately get better? Pulse laser. Uh, let's go for laser damage here. Oh my god, the missile damage could be quite a bit, couldn't it be? Laser... Okay, there's a better laser. 29 with a 2.5 fire rate, though, is worse. What's the fire rate? Hold up, I should really look at that. Okay, so these lasers have 4 fire rate at 26 and 82. 
four fire rate at 26 and 82. No, that these are actually worse. Even though it says it's better, it's actually worse. That's getting much closer. Oh my god, the amount of missile damage we could have. Wild. 46! It would have half the fire rate, but a lot of damage. Max power would be worse. 62. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, hold up. 26. No, this is actually better. This one's actually better. It has less range. 1250 is its range, and now it has 800. That's meters, I'm assuming. Okay, interesting, interesting. 492 missile damage? We might need to switch our missiles and lasers around. You said what now? Who cares about a one fire rate when its missiles are doing that much? Hold up. What does our missions do? What do our missiles do? One fire rate for 90 damage. Or we can do... One fire rate for 490 damage. What? What do you mean? That's insane. I'm going to do that, and we're going to switch this to missile launchers. Yep, that's happening. Weapon. Now we need to replace these missile launchers with actual laser weapons, because we don't have laser weapons right now. Uh, unless we're going to do EM or something, but I don't think we do, no. What is PAR again? What is PAR? What does the PAR stand for? What is PAR? Your ship's weapons affect enemies different combat depending on the damage type used. Energy affects shields, ballistic hull, and EM systems. Yeah, but what is PAR? What? Is it paralyzed? I don't know. I don't want to buy something that I don't understand, you know? Okay, there were good lasers down here. Hold up now. 20. Here they were. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. So we can do a 20 laser right here. Uh, Riza laser. Short range, but good damage. Which is fine. Starship rank 2 is what we can handle. So let's put that on there. It's already costing 81k and we're just getting started. So isn't that just great? Some more ballistic power, please. Not missiles, ballistic. Ballistic. We need ballistic. You need ballistic damage to be able to do, like, consistent damage types. To be honest, we could just do a bunch of ballistic weapons and just skip the laser weapons entirely, if we're honest. The laser weapons have not impressed me. They have not, at all. Um, maybe I'll do ballistic instead. And just do double ballistic, maybe? Could be something we look at doing. What's the best ballistic they have? Um, the MKE9 Goss gun? MKE4 Goss gun? Whoa, hold up. Okay, never mind. I thought that said 4 fire rate for a second. I was like, no way. Yeah, this is, this is the better gun. Hmm. 65 ballistic or 20 laser. That should seem pretty obvious which one we should go with, right? Energy effects shields. Ballistic hull and EM systems. Yeah, I'm gonna go with two ballistic weapons and see if that works out better. I think I am. Shield damage is so low, though. Nah, hold up. Okay, if we do the MKE9 here... That does 19, that does basically 20 to shield, 65 to hull. The Riza 300, um, laser cannon does, where's the laser 300 laser? Wow, where is the Riza 300 laser? I, I really need to just watch the laser and watch, wait it for it to hit 20 damage and that'll be where it is. Come on now. 
What did we see? Where did we see it? What the? Wait, it said laser 20, didn't it? Where did we find laser 20 at? Am I crazy? Is it because I already have it here? Oh, here. I can just look at it here. I'm I'm so stupid. 2170. So 21 hull and 70 shield at 1.5 fire rate. Or we can just do an M we can just do an MK9 here. Also 1.5 fire rate. And instead of doing 20 and 70, it does 65 and 20. No, we'll go with the laser gun. It's probably the smart move, even though it's not a lot of damage. It says 20 because of the hull damage. Oh. So really this should say 70 because that's what it's good at. Okay. That's making more sense now. Okay. So there were better ballistics, I thought. Near the bottom here. The MKE9 that we were looking at. Yep. Look at that thing. <sighs> better in every conceivable way. So for 119,000, we're already looking at that. How's the engine looking? Oh my god. We can... <sighs> We can power this up, baby. Get us that new engine there. I'm spending all the credits to get us as stacked as possible. Uh, the grab drives. Grab drives a downgrade. We're not touching the grab drive. And the reactor is probably a downgrade because this reactor is insane. Do you see how much power is generated by this reactor? No. So 142k spent after buying it for 455,000. Means after hitting these upgrade buttons, before we even build anything additional, we've already spent just shy of 600,000 credits on this bad boy. This is going to be a good ship. This is going to be a good ship. So good. Mobility's up. Hull is up. Damage is up across the board. Especially our missile and ballistic damage. Laser does do 70 against shield, so don't let that fool you. Mobility's up. Mass is up, I think, but that's alright. Okay, I accept the modifications for 142,000. <laughs> We're down to half a million now. Okay, shipbuilder. Now let's start adding things on top. We have our setup. Let's start adding things. Okay. So weapon zero is already capped. We could add... So we have 45 equip power and a 36 reactor. So we can't equip everything. But a lot of that is in the grab. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 of that equip power is in the grab drive, which we're not usually going to have equipped. Um, plus the 5 we get for our skills makes it 41. So we should have enough space for about 6 or 7 more power on paper. Might not be completely correct, but on paper that should make sense. Okay, the control station's there, and here's the cockpit. That's 4 crew stations, 2 crew stations, right? So there's the six crew stations, not counting myself. And then you have the spine. Later modify. Okay, that's just cosmetic. Got it. The cargo hold, captain's quarters, and the workshop. The cowling, the cowling. Okay, but uh, can't help but notice there's a workshop, but no science lab or anything like that. Four bottom landing gear. Uh-oh. Ah, bottom. Okay. Well, there's a... There's a... There are weapon mounts here! Say less! Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. Um, stop, stop, stop. Can I duplicate the ballistics down there? Uh, we need more laser damage, too. So maybe we put more laser damage there. The ballistics is already fine, maybe? Uh, we can add one of each, even. Options, duplicate. Come on, now. How low we gotta, how low we gotta get? Before you're happy. Wow, we gotta get low, low. Look at that, that thing's basically touching the ground by then. Could also use here. That kind of doesn't make any sense, though, because wouldn't it get in the way? You would think. Uh, 
Can you move, please? It doesn't work on top. It only works on bottom, which is very curious. But okay. More laser damage. And then if we also duplicate one of these... We should have a lot more firepower as well. On the bottom side. Like that. Okay, so we got extra firepower coming out the bottom here. And that raises our equip power, but it also raises our maximum efficiency for damage across the board. Mobility goes down a little bit, mass goes up, but that's okay. That's fine. Um, let's start with that. Flight is still nominal, so let's accept. There we go. We're under half a million credits now. We just spent 8,000 more, which brings us to... We were at 497. We just spent 38,000 more, so 505. 535,000... Um, no. 635,000 credits so far on the Narwhal. 635 is a good number, I would say. Keep building, keep building. Um, so how are we going to add more structural... Like, we have a workshop, but we don't have... A lot of the pieces... That we're going to need. A porthole. Oh, where? Is there somewhere I can add this that, like, makes sense? Why can't I only flip it that way? What? Forget it. Um. Oh, because it says four. Duh. Porthole port. Um, I don't think this will work. Because I don't think we can see this part. That's just landing gear. No, that won't work at all. Okay. Delete that. I would really like to add... What am I looking for here? A workstation, right? Uh, engines, fuel tanks, gear, grav drives, habs. Here we are. This is what I wanted. Okay, so we have the workshop. Right here. Um, the all-in-one berth 2x2. Two two. Can I turn, can I make the 2x1 two a 2x2? Two two? Can we do that? Can we do a little upgrade here? Uh, go to the battle stations, brig, cargo hall, computer core. So we're different interior, okay. Um, hull, cargo hall, brig, computer core. Computer core has crew stations, battle stations there. Um, engineering bay. That would be good. Can I get a... 3x2 mid, not cargo hall. An engineering bay 3 1. So this is. Hold up. Let me see. This is what? This is a Tayo Workshop 2 1. Right. Uh, so if we add. Sorry, I'm trying to. This is the, my first time going this in on it. I hope you all don't mind too much. Storeroom. Storeroom, storeroom. These are all storerooms is the only options. Okay. Armory, captain's quarters, computer core, control station, infirmary, living quarters, science lab, workshop. Okay, so let's do this then. We need a, we need a workshop, obviously. We already have a workshop, though, so that means this is good. Leave that there. Excellent. Uh, the captain's quarters. We could easily just get... Let's get rid of the spine. We don't need the spines for appearance's sake. We can just put these things where they were and put another 2 by one right here. Why was that even there? Uh, put the science lab there. There we go, like that. Perfect. So now we have a science lab, we have a workshop, and we have a captain's quarters. Good. That's coming together here. What is this? End cap, STB, side cap. These are just caps. These don't do anything. Whoa, 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 whoa. So you're saying I can just... Okay, here we go. Living quarters, two by one. Okay, so there is like some... There is some verticality here. Okay, living quarters, two by one. And these are side caps. Hold up. 
This is the infirmary. Okay, so we have a workshop, we have an infirmary, and we have a science lab. That's everything we need. Um, That is good. That is good. I would... Yeah, that'll be fine. And then these end caps. I'd rather do something with the space, to be honest. Well, let's put the side caps back on. That's fine. I didn't realize the side caps were hiding that extra stuff from me. So we don't need an infirmary now. We have an infirmary. You can get rid of these. We don't need these spines. Thank you. Uh, I'll leave these here in case we don't find something to cap them off with. I'm actually really loving the shipbuilder. Like, the customizer here. It's very intuitive. Um, makes a lot of sense once you've played around with it for a little bit. So these one-by-one one mids. Um, they could be storerooms. Which add to cargo, I guess. We could do that. That's a that's an option possibly. Captain's quarters and living quarters, yeah. Uh, I would actually rather flip these around, if I'm being honest. I'd rather have the captain quarters down there, more privacy. Because from what it's looking like to me, this is what it looks like to me. Um, once you get on the ship, you're probably here or here, right? Here or where you're entering from. Damn, that's a. Rank 3 starship design. Love that. Um, you probably enter in the science lab. Yeah. And then you go into the captain's quarters to be able to go down into the living quarters. What is in the middle, by the way? The all-in-one berth mid. The all-in-one berth mid. What? What? Uh, maybe that can be where I put the captain's quarters, possibly. What is what is this all-in-one berth? I don't need an all-in-one berth. Hull five passenger slots. Oh, it's a passenger slot. Oh, in case we have passenger. No, that's all right. Let's go ahead and add uh, the two by one bottom A captain's quarters. Perfect. And we'll go put... Oh, no, this is going to be mid. What am I doing? And then the science lab is at the bottom. Oh, we already had a science lab. Oh, my goodness. Okay, hold up now. Now, now it's getting all confusing. Uh, Here. So the living quarters mid. No, I want living quarters up top here. We're going to put it right here. We already have a science lab. There's a science lab at the bottom right here. It's being hidden by the landing gear, but it's here. Okay. Yeah, okay. So there's an infirmary and a science lab right next to each other with a workshop right up top. We have that now. Everything is set squared away. Okay. So if we put these living quarters mid over here. I want living quarters to be top. That's kind of what I'm saying, though. Let me go for a living quarters top. Tayo all-in-one berth top. Here we go. There you are. Then we can do... Uh, the... Down here. Okay, we have, we have the workshop, we have the science lab, we have the infirmary, we have the living quarters... Maybe we don't want the living quarters there. Because that's where everybody comes in, right? We don't we don't need the bottom science lab. We can get rid of that. Man, this is kind of choppy, but we're getting there. We're getting there. Let's put the living quarters here and the captain's quarters top. We can get rid of and add a captain's quarters mid over here. That way they're kind of in the same place, roughly, you know? So it makes sense how they're connected. There we go. So captain's quarters, living quarters. What? No, why does it say bottom B? That's not what I wanted to add. Homework bid. Captain's quarters, two, one. There. Okay. I don't know what I did wrong, but there we go. So living quarters and captain's quarters on this side. We have the workshop and infirmary on this side. And we have the science lab in the bottom right here. 
So we have kind of all the different pieces we absolutely need. Now, what other things can we put in the mid here? We don't have an armory yet. We don't have a computer core yet. Uh, we have control station here. So we don't need control station. We have an infirmary. We have living quarters. We have a science lab. We have a workshop. So really, it's just a computer core and an armory that we don't have. Let's put the armory in the mid. There we go. And then we can add a computer core up top. Voila. Okay. Good, good. So we have the two by ones figured out. And then the one by ones in the middle here, instead of just having a pointless cap on it, we can actually have like a storeroom or something. It looks like storeroom is really the only thing we can do here. Cargo hall. Engineering bay three by one. Engineering bay three by one. Do we want an engineering bay instead of... I'm not wasting too much time. I... Oh man, the episode has to end soon. Damn. Maybe it'll just be extra long. It'll be alright. <laughs> it'll be alright. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Uh... Hmm. We could do... Extra big in the middle. We could do that. What if we did another middle? What if we did an engineering bay mid here? Right. And then put this up top. Above it. Would that work? No? We'd have to move this gun first, probably. Okay, hold that. We put that here? No? Doesn't work? Why does that not work? What am I missing? What am I what do I what do I not have? Is there like some kind of we need a porthole? And then we can put it on top? No? No, those are like windows, I'm pretty sure. Um I'm not seeing anything like that. Landing bays, cargo holds, we already have one, cockpit, dockers, engine fuel, gear, grab drives have, okay, all right. It doesn't wanna work like that, huh? That's interesting. Is it this equipment plate in the way? Possibly? There it is, it was the equipment plate in the way. I see. And then we can move this here. There we are. Okay. Got it. It was the equipment plate. I can work with that. And then we can put this here. Good. Move this up a level. Good. Computer core control station. Engineering bay in the mid was here. Okay, it's coming together. We <laughs> we're going to build the best ship ever, dude. It's going to be so good. Hell yeah! Oh, hell yeah! And we don't have a 3 by 2 yet. The cargo hall. Mess hall. Ooh, a mess hall? Wait a second, that's so dope! We don't need a mess hall, though. That's something I could skip on for now. Maybe one day we can do that instead. Um, so this is companionway or storeroom, so I guess we'll do a companion way mid here instead of just a boring cap on the side what where did it go oh here it is and then i could porthole that right yeah there we go duplicate this please uh oh my god stop back 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 uh duplicate Right there, and then duplicate that right there. Oh, perfect. Oh, it's looking nice now. It's all coming together. Put the caps on. We don't need these pieces. We can get rid of that. Um, get rid of this. What's the error right now? Docker modules need to be on the outside, on an outside edge of the ship. Docker, Docker modules. Docker modules. 
Docker modules. What are you talking about? Uh, what is a Docker module? I can rename the ship here. That's right. Um, I'm trying to figure out. Let's let's add this first before we do anything else. Go to Habs. Um, also, maybe we can get a different cockpit, but we'll see. We don't need anything that big. We need a 2 by one correct? Or am I crazy? Yeah, we need a 2 by one So, an all-in-one wouldn't suck. We don't have an all-in-one. Pretty sure that's the only one we don't have. All-in-one, armory, captain's quarters, computer core, control station, infirmary, living quarters, science lab, workshop. We have all of that now. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. Uh, I hit tab on accident. Stop. Imagine losing all this effort. I'd be so sad. I'd be so sad. Okay. Could left control G. That's a weird button to have to press, but okay. Control G. Left control G. Dockers. I don't know what that means. Docker modules need about outside of the ship. I'll probably have to figure that out off camera because it might take me a long time. And if that's the case, you're going to have to work with me on that one, guys. Uh, Portman 4. Port hold a port. Yeah, let's do that, actually. Flip it. There it is. Oh god, the four top is not fitting anymore. Get rid of that. Uh, I wish there was a way to undo what I just did. Realizing now that I probably wanted that. Okay. We go back to structure. We go back to Habs, the companion way. Not the bottom one. Sorry. The companion way mid. And the companion way mid. There we go. This is going to require a lot of recoloring too, to be honest. But that's alright. We can do that part later. Okay, I'm making sure this is all working here. And then another porthole to port here. No, it's not going to work there? Oh, flip it, flip it, flip it. Yeah, there you go. Okay. There we are. And that doesn't work over that. That's fine. You know what? No, 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 no. That, that doesn't need that. That needs a weapon there. <laughs> Sorry. No, not that kind of weapon mount. Not that kind of weapon mount either. I need one that faces front. Is there not any like that? I guess not. Huh. Okay. I really need something here. I really should have left. What the what? Why there and not there? I know why. Wow, this this is, looks a little crazy to be honest. Um, how do I close that satisfyingly? Not a side cap port. Need a cap, end cap, nose cap ports. Whoops. Stop. Too 
If I take this and I do that, <laughs> what is that? What is this? Oh no! <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing! How do I do this? Where did the ports go? Porthole 4, I guess, because I don't know what else to do with this. Stop! Don't you dare! Don't you dare do that! This is gonna be a bug eyed looking thing right here. Until I get this to work. Stop! Ship has unattached modules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I actually do know that one. <laughs> I know how to fix that one. Thank God. Um, uh, cockpits. Here we go. So we got a bunch of these different cockpits. I want the best one, obviously. Uh, the one that is here is already where two crew stations. There's only one that's better. And uh, we don't have the design for it, so we can't. Okay, fair enough. Looks like, like style-wise, they're all the same. Extender port docker, 200 top. Is it saying that this isn't? This isn't on top is what it's mad at me about, huh? Is that what it's saying? Yes! I figured it out! Yay! We... This thing was so messed up! Oh no! Oh no! What have we done? It's nominal! It's, no, it's nominal! It's nominal, huh? I don't know about that. But okay, it's coming together a little bit. We're gonna have to give it a recolor, obviously. Um, do we have anything to add on top here? Structural, anything on top. Could do a top porthole, of course. Okay, um... God, that just does not work, does it? That looks awful. Oh boy. Uh, forward sensors, maybe? Nope. That's not it. We, m we might need to get some stuff from somewhere else to be able to finish this up. A slope cap? What the what? That is massive, sir. Oh my goodness. Don't need that. I wish these side caps could be laid like, horizontally across it. You know what I mean? I guess we'll just have to do portholes again. <laughs> Oh boy. Alright, I guess. Uh, we could do equipment plates. Put a weapon on top of it and it would feel a lot more it would seem a lot more fitting. Yeah, I actually like that a lot. There it is. Okay. If we do that, now it all makes a lot more sense to me. And then we can put the top portholes here. Where did it go? Oh god. There it is. These things act up like crazy. Okay. Stop. Okay. Stop. Not what I wanted, obviously. Stop being difficult. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So we have top portholes there. We have front portholes here. We got the weapons up front so it looks less ridiculous. Put these, slide these weapons up. We got the docker there. Um, we got the weapons down at the bottom here. Everything is gassed up. Everything's juiced. Um... I could duplicate this again to give us even more laser power up here. No, this is weapon one. We already had enough of that. Just kidding. Um, this is the one that we could duplicate and get more of. This would give it some, some space to separate as well. Uh, our equip power is out of control, but if we take away some grab and engine, maybe we'd be able to fully equip the weaponry. I'm okay with flying slow if we're an absolute monster in combat. 
I don't think driving, I don't think flying fast has really been the number one thing that would like give us a victory, you know? Um, okay, if we do a recolor here, how does it look? Like, for example, if we went, if we went off black, if we went hard black, how would it look? I really think we could build that out like that. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and recolor this uh, in between last episode and this episode. Another 34,000 uh, means that we have spent 600, about 670,000 credits on this ship. About 670,000. Getting it just right, just the way we want. Uh, we might make edits in the future, but we might not. This might be what we do. I'm gonna go ahead and get all the colors right. And then I will see you guys with the final product... It's got nominal flight check. It says it's good to go. It says it's ready. So I'm going to recolor the narwhal to be black. Uh, go ahead and give me name um, suggestions in the comments. And we will rename the ship with whatever the top comment is, I guess. As long as it's somewhat acceptable. And then that should be good. Sorry, hiccups. That should be good. I am pumped to get into the ship and to look at it with y'all. I'm not going to walk inside of it until you guys are ready to join me. So, thank you again so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. And if you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. Either way, thank you so much for joining me on this journey in Starfield. Whoops, it's this has been, it's, this is so fun. I'm glad we finally got to just go, we got to go to work on some uh, ship building here. I'm really glad we were able to finally piece that together. What did I do? Unattached modules. What did I do? I'm gonna have to find what I unattached. I unattached something somewhere apparently. Can I reach cockpit from landing bay? From docker. I'll fix that in a sec. I'll see all of you next time.